Now I know what you may be thinking. Are emails for old people? And for asking that question, I'm gonna give you a five finger slap across the face, each finger a reason why you should be collecting email. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? This is Zach from eCommerce Success Secrets and today I'm going to be talking to you about five reasons why you should be collecting emails. And guys, email is such an invaluable source these days and there's so many things that you can do with customer emails that it absolutely boggles my mind to learn that people don't have any kind of email collection uh, device or service on their website. It's absolutely free money and it can make any other business venture you have in the future so much easier with these emails and I'm gonna tell you exactly how that is so each of these five things are going to be pretty separate so you can take each one on their own path if you choose or kind of combine them all in a business venture I don't know I'm just the messenger I'm just here to give you five reasons why you should be collecting emails all right, number one, and this is definitely one of the most valuable, and I don't know why people don't do this more frequently, is retargeting advertisements or campaigns, whatever you wanna call it, but just retargeting customers, right? When you collect emails from customers, this allows you to retarget them in other different forms of media to make your brand or your service even more well-known to them, and even if they didn't convert the first time but you got their email, you can absolutely convert them the second or third time they see your company and boom there you go you went from a customer having zero value to you to a customer having however much you sell your service or product for value it's absolutely crazy and additionally it doesn't even have to be customers that haven't converted you could have customers that have converted in the past retarget them with other services be like oh I know you love this well how about this now it's on sale get yours now People will absolutely jump for that, especially these people because they've already purchased from your company and they know your brand and they've already had the product and if they had a good experience with that, yeah, they'll be willing to get more of what you offer. You just actually have to target them. And when people don't do these retargeting campaigns, it blows my mind because yeah, like I said, absolutely free and these customers are not cold they're warm and this is fantastic this is the best kind of traffic it's the highest converting traffic because they're already aware of what you offer so why not dig into that why not get warm and toasty in that warm traffic with your retargeting campaigns and then just a quick little side note I'm probably gonna make a video on each of these points separately in the future so if you do enjoy what I'm saying here or you're very interested go ahead and hit that subscribe keep your eyes peeled number two and this is gonna kind of go hand in hand with number Number one but not really it's look-alike audiences right so this is widely used on Facebook however some other advertising platforms that I've seen uh, namely snapchat I actually recently discovered that they use this technology or this technique I don't really know what to call it but uh, uh, look-alike audiences yeah they're fantastic what these do if you're not aware is they collect the emails and the information of pre-existing customers or pre-existing people that have shown interest in your uh, product, so your email list for say, and then they put it into the system and what an algorithm does is it finds people that are very, very similar to the people that have already shown interest in your product or service, right? So immediately you have, say you have 3,000 people on your email list, but do 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 they do their magic, boom, you have 100,000 more people that are very, very similar to these people. So you don't have to go out there and try and find them and hope you get lucky. It automatically narrows their uh, collection of customers or clients or users down to this very specific niche that have already proven to work for you. And once again, it blows my mind that people don't utilize this because it's really, really close to warm traffic. It's customers that have already most likely shown an affinity for what you're offering and they'll respond very, very well to your advertisements as opposed to somebody that you're just kind of throwing out there and hoping that they stick with just general targeting. This is the best targeting that you can get aside from retargeting advertisements. So definitely collect emails and use them to get this very specific targeted traffic. Number three, I talk about this in literally every video, email marketing. If you're not doing email marketing, you're doing very 
very poorly in e-commerce. And the reason why this is, is because email marketing, unless you're paying for an email service, which you don't really need to unless you're doing extremely high volume, is absolutely free. You have this hot, very hot burning traffic that has already been to your website, knows your product, gave you their email willingly, willingly, expecting you to send them stuff. So when you do send them stuff, as long as you structure the email pretty well, it's going to at least do something. It's gonna be better than nothing. If you structure it well and you have a good email funnel, people are going to convert like crazy. If you send them a few emails, each one kind of ramping up the benefits of what they're gonna get if they order from you right now, you will get orders. And there's a ton of videos online on how to successfully email email market. I'm going to make a few videos on this in the future, but if you're not using these emails that you collect to email market, I don't know what you're doing because it is absolutely free advertising. Number four, very, very important too, if you're the entrepreneurial type, you're getting leads for other businesses that you may start, right? Let me explain this. So let's say you have a, uh, let's say you have a fitness page, right? You sell like fitness training gear, whatever. You collect emails for that. You have an email list of a couple thousand, right? You kind of get bored of this. You decide, hey, I want to start something else. Let me start a online training program. Okay. It's going to be very, very difficult if you don't have these emails to find new traffic that will start converting on your page, right? People don't really trust you. Um, you know, it's just a bunch of different things. You got to start building your client base up from the bottom. But if you have several thousand emails, you can send out that, hey, um, we've partnered with so and so company that do training and go ahead and check them out, you immediately have a very targeted audience of however big your email list is, even bigger if you do a lookalike audience somewhere, of this service that you have, and it'll immediately boost you above the starting point where you have absolutely no customers. These are people that know your brand and if you cross promote them, boom, there you go. You've immediately got at least a small client base for your business that can then do referrals or whatever else and build you up. If you don't have these, starting any other venture can be very, very difficult. And they don't even have to be the very same, right? It could be, uh, let's say, fitness, and then you want to start an outdoorsy thing. You could cross-promote it in a very crafty way, like, hey, outdoors um, promotes fitness, whatever. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that's very good, but you get the idea, right? So using these to cross-promote other businesses will infinitely reduce your stress and the time that it takes to build up a new client base. And now this one kind of goes hand in hand with the one I just said, but number five is cross promotion slash affiliate marketing. Okay, so yeah, like I said in the previous one, if you were to start another business, boom, you've got a client base. However, what a lot of businesses do is they offer a compensation for referrals to their business uh, to so if customers buy the product or service, they give you a cut of the profit. And this is great if you wanna get into it. You have the email list of the people that you know are interested in your specific niche or product or the general area, right? You can find a company that does something similar and then cross promote it and be like, hey, I've got these people. Um, if you have any kind of affiliate program, let me know and I'll send them over to your business and you can get some good traffic that way. Of course, you have to be crafty with the way that you actually do send your customers over to the other company, but it's very, very easy to do once you get the hang of it. And especially if you have partners with other companies, this cross promotion is going to be insane. You're getting thousands of customers that never would have found your page coming to you and you're sending your thousands of customers over to this other company and then getting compensated for it. It's absolutely awesome. So guys, that is it. Those are five things that you can use an email list for and five reasons why you should start growing one today if you haven't already. Uh, if you're not sure how to do it, I'm going to make a video on this in the future. But all you have to do is just put a little email pop up and offer it to some type of discount on your website or some like free ebook or whatever. Just some kind of compensation. Have people sign up for your email list and you'll actually be very, very surprised at how fast it grows. There's quite a high percentage of my visitors to my websites convert into giving me their emails and now I've got thousands of emails sitting around that I can use for whatever I want. It's so awesome and so easy. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing 
subscribing to my channel. I upload videos like this every single day. Also, hit that like button down below if you're not gonna subscribe or if you are gonna subscribe. Either way, it helps me out a crap ton. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And then two more things, check out 101ecom.com. That's my website, I got some stuff on there. Also, check out the link down in the description for a free 14-day Shopify trial if you wanna get started and start collecting emails for yourself and seeing the absolute wonders that they have to offer. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Peace out.